friends, welcome to my live stream. I figured I'd start a few minutes early. Um, I am a stylist, like a wardrobe stylist, so I don't normally do hair videos. Um, I don't normally do anything other than style related stuff. So um, I was originally, I got two packages in today and I was going to review the bodysuit, which I'm currently wearing underneath my t-shirt and jeans. However, um, she's a little see-through, so I don't want to get flagged for, for that, but I will, um, I don't know if I'm going to actually be able, I don't think I can drop it in the chat anyway. So I will do another, another video about that. But what I want to talk about is my hair. So on TikTok, I get asked at least once a day about my hair, about my haircut, about, um, how I care for it and how I style it. So I thought this is a good day. I, I needed to style my hair. Um, anyway, which I normally do two times a week with maybe a little refresh in the middle. So I thought that I'm going to go ahead and unbox um, my new flat iron. And I, I want to talk about why I chose this one versus my old one. And I'm going to actually just do my hair on camera. So I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know what we're going to be doing. But yeah, so I thought, let's unbox this on camera because... The bodysuit that I got, I'm obsessed with it. I want to live in it for a little bit, and I'm probably going to take a picture in it. Um, but it's a little, little nipply. So I'm going to give this a second to build an audience. I hope you guys are having an awesome Thursday or whenever you're watching this. And um, I have the hiccups. So I do want to talk about this. I got the T3 Lucia. It's a one inch professional styling straightener and styling iron. And the reason why I wanted to get this one, when I looked at it, um, aside from it just being a little thicker than what I'm normally using, is that the flat iron that I currently have, and I don't wanna show the name of it, has these flat panels. It's a little skinnier, so it's good for bangs, which I'll probably still keep because I do need that. Um, but it's flat, so when you use it to style your hair in waves of any sort, you end up with like a weird flat barrel, which this one, if you can see, is rounded around the edges. So I'm unboxing this with you guys. You are getting my first, my first uh, reaction to it. So it says it's a smart microchip, nine digitally controlled temperature settings, and rapid heat IQ. So let's see what we're dealing with. There's a microchip in here. I've normally been using like that and then I'm, I clearly do not take care of my hair tools very well because I think there is some, something got burned here at some point. So um, maybe this will inspire me to take better care of my hair tools by having a nicer one. Although my hairstyles did tell me to buy this one, this one for my, I normally use like um, this for my waves. I'm ideally looking to get a product that replaces both. So I don't have to have the big barrel iron and all that other stuff. So this is kind of my jam. The price is right too, because I mean, those were each 60. So, um, Ooh, it's got an hour shut off. So if you leave it on, if you're a little squirrel brain, like I am. Okay, cool. Um, and there's ceramic plates in here. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my hair for this. So the big secret behind my hair, is I have 2B hair texture as far as the waves go. So it is not super curly. It's not super straight. And it's cut in a modified shag, also known as a wolf cut. It's a little different than a traditional wolf cut because I have, I'm going to take my rings off. I have it cut like the more 70s style wolf cut. The, the, the shag that everyone does now, it's uh, a little wispier. And because of the weight of my hair... I do like to go a little shaggier. It's a little, I don't enjoy styling it straight up like Farrah Fawcett because I don't think that's incredibly wearable, but I do, I like having some volume in it. So I dry shampooed it earlier. I washed it yesterday. I normally wash my hair, um, you know, like two or three times a week tops. I do find that my hair tends to work better um, when I don't wash it as much. Also, thanks to TikTok, I found out that I actually have wavy hair. So I have, I have been trying to go about the like curly girl hair method. I don't love it for me for a lot of reasons. I don't know if it's because I haven't trained my hair yet to properly um, go for it. But I have been using like curl creams and stuff. 
and I don't know if I'm not breaking the cast right, um, but maybe if you guys have any wavy hair tips you can help me out with. So I'm just going to throw some leave-in conditioner. My hair's still a little damp on the end. Some leave-in conditioner and some heat protectant. Just kind of protect these ends. Do you guys remember the wet to heat straighteners or the wet to dry straighteners and how we just sizzled our hair? Remember that? That was those were those were some times. So I'm going to just brush that through my hair. I think I'm gonna go for my normal hairstyle today, which is kind of like I wear it three different ways. I wear it either natural, like what this is, or I'll straighten it and make it stick straight so all of these pieces lay pretty flat, or I will wave it with a flat iron so I do need a trim but you can see like the reason why this haircut works is because it's a diamond and there's panels that are over corrected so you get this stuff in the front it takes a lot of the weight off of it and it also just gives it more movement I used to have my hair down to my booty and it was all one length and it was super wavy, but it was definitely not manageable. Um, my bangs also start back fairly far on my head in order to get that kind of thicker late 60s, early 70s bangs. So I want to get started by opening this up. I do really like the packaging. It's that nice matte packaging. And I like the box for storage because my big problem I have in my house is that there's no storage. So when it comes to things in the bathroom, I like to keep my makeup to where I can use it multiple, like, you know, multiple ways. And I also just like, um, I just like keeping things simple these days. I don't know if this is going to let me, here we go. We're going to present this to the audience. It is on sale today. Okay. So it comes with, um, this guy. I don't know what this is. I guess it's the manual. It is the manual. Quick start manual. I'm not going to read that. Ooh, this is a nice size. I do like a little bit of a thicker barrel for longer hair. This is a really long cord too, which I appreciate because uh, I live in an old, oh, and it comes with a nice Velcro thing to kind of keep it up. There's no outlets in my house. There's like one outlet per room. So it's difficult to get ready. So I'm gonna compare this to my normal flat iron that I typically use. Okay, so like I said, I like that these are rounded, not super flat. That way I'm not going to get that weird indention in my waves. It feels really nice in the hand, too. It doesn't feel slippery. I'm going to move my ring. So we will see. I also am going to leave this as a, a TikTok live for my people so they can watch this later. Okay, so I plugged it in. Very long cord. And I guess this is the power button. I probably should read the instructions, shouldn't I? Um, and it looks like it tells you when it is lit up or when it's ready to go. Let's see. It's already pretty hot. So I like to start by sectioning off parts of my hair. I'm going to start with the bottom layer. I do need to trim my bangs a little bit. So this is my natural hair texture. Um, I didn't put any product in it yesterday other than a leave-in conditioner. So you can see that there's waves definitely underneath it. And I like to play into that um, when I don't want to do like a super straight look. So I usually just start. There's no, I'm not a real hairstylist. So I usually do one pass over. Ooh, that's already straight. I normally just do one pass over and then go back, but I think I can just do get by with one wave. Ooh, look, you guys. Normally, this would be a flat panel up against my head. All right, I'm not going to do the straight or the smoothing pass over this piece. So I just kind of like take pieces at random, especially when they're already with my natural curl clumps. And I just... Ooh kind of play with these. I like the barrel size of these compared to what I already have because I feel like it looks a little more natural. The big thing for me is that my hair is, it frizzes really easy. And I think that might be because, um, you know, I've been styling my hair improperly for the last 
20 years, who knows? I just like to give it a fluff. We will see how the straightening is when we do the bangs. So I just like to go around my whole head. I will then sometimes put some salt spray in it for some grip, but my hair does hold curl fairly well. So I think I'm just gonna give it a go today and see. Oh my gosh, my husband is blowing up my phone, y'all. Hold on. He's blowing me up. So dramatic. I was like, I'm doing a live stream. He goes, are you okay? So I'm just going to go around my whole head. So like, if you see, I've got these smaller pieces right here. I'll just do a quick pass. I do like how fast and how polished the straight parts are, but I'm not, I'm just styling my normal hair today. So the hair in my picture that I posted is probably the longest it had been in a little bit. I did cut it during COVID like everybody else did, but didn't we all, didn't we all end up with bad COVID cuts? I'm going to share this again, just because I want to make sure that you guys can see it. I don't know if it's going to let me present again. All right, let's brush this hair out. Someone's going to be like, you're so rough on your hair. Okay, so that's my natural curl pattern. Let's just enhance it a little bit more. Um, I know that this was a last minute show, so I don't know if there's going to be anybody watching this live. If there are some, fr <gasps> this is what I always had problems with, with my flat, my flat barrel is that this, I'm going to do it again, just to show you guys, this side would never match the other side because the curly or the iron was facing different ways. So I would always get like a weird bend, not an actual wave on this side. I do like the size of this. I feel like it looks a lot more natural. My other um, side, I, I bought it just on a whim because my flat iron went to be with um, Hair Jesus. It bit the dust. And I bought it at like a TJ Maxx on a whim like 10 years ago. So it has served me well. And I do like that it's good for bangs. But like, let's take a big chunk like this and see what we got. Let's see. Are you going to look real? She's looking pretty cute. Someone's going to be like, your hair looks awful. But I get compliments on it pretty much every time I leave the house. So must be doing something, right? Yeah. Maybe they have the Zoe Deschanel thing. To be fair, I've had a lot of people ask me, did I get my hair cut to look like Zoe's? And the answer is no. I got my hair cut like this because I wanted to look like one of the girls that was married to one of the Rolling Stones. And I just stuck with it. And in December, when Zoe came to Nashville with her band, she and him, she had her mask on and someone was like, oh my God, are you the Peyton Project from TikTok? And she's like, no. And then they realized who it was and they were like, oh my God, she gets mistaken for you all the time. So I'm just going to throw some salt spray in. And just let that kind of sink in. I don't know if that's the right way to use salt spray, but that's how I do it. Like I said, I'm not a hairstylist. This might be a very short live because I realize it doesn't take me that long to do my actual hair when it's dry. The one thing that I will say that can be a little annoying with this haircut is if you have cowlicks, you have to make sure that your hairstylist knows to cut to correct those. Okay, see this is I'm really liking because it's so thick of a barrel that I'm not getting like a weird curl right here and I'm able to just kind of flip it. That's the curl I'm looking for on the top layer. I don't want an actual curl. I just want it to kind of fall back. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Look at how pretty that looks. If I get comments saying stick to style videos, I'll do it, but I needed a new flat iron and I'm excited. Just spray that a little bit more with the salt spray and then once the salt spray dries I usually go through and kind of mess with it but let's just do the other side I'm really excited for this I did want like I said I did want to do the video with um the potty suit but I've got to figure out a way to do it where you can't see can't see the twins <laughs> if you get my gist and we gotta not should have planned this 
Should have de notified my hair before I went on camera. See, you guys, I'm a terrible influencer. A normal influencer would have had, like, a ring light ready to go and, like, perfectly shiny, de-matted hair. But you know what? I'm not an influencer. I'm a stylist. And it's an award season week, okay? All right, we're good. You should be happy I'm wearing pants at all. Ooh, there's the... <laughs> These poor people. These, like, people that sent me this flat are going to be like, we're not using this. <laughs> But hey, if I can make my hair look this good with it, you can do it too. We're going to take that little, we're going to take this chunk I just destroyed. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I appreciate this beautiful flat iron. I'm sorry that I'm making your product look bad. That is so pretty. I definitely feel like my hair is healthier than when I used my other flat iron. I don't know if that's psychosomatic because this is a nicer flat iron, but it definitely does feel a little shinier and a lot more manageable. Okay, so let's spray this side with a little salt spray. Give it a little zhuzh. Get up underneath it. I think the bangs are good today. Just kind of like mess with it. I might spray it, but I don't really like hairspray in my hair. Um, okay. Did I miss any? I did miss this one little section. So we're going to get that real quick. I hate that I missed my friends today, but I know that you will catch the replay because... You're going to watch me make a hot mess out of my head. This is really nice, you guys. And what I like about this, too, is because it's not shiny, the, the like, plastic isn't rubbing off. Because this one, I don't know if you can read on camera, is beat. And it would get stuck in my hair. She's nice. So all in all, I'm going to try and turn it off and see what it does. The lights go out when you turn it off. It's so cute. Okay. All in all, definitely would buy. Because like I said, those other two, I like this does the same thing as my flat iron. And this is the hair that I would get with my curling iron. Same price, one tool. Probably going to be getting rid of these. Um, but I'm pretty happy. I like the big, messy, um, like, rocker chick hair. And it definitely helps me aid in my natural texture to get that 10 out of 10 would recommend i'm going to share it one more time if i can i think everybody should get one of these all right i hope that you guys have an awesome day and i will talk to you very soon